G'day guys, Jake here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Server 2016. They, It's been released last week, so now it's actually in production. Pretty sure you can buy it now if you want to, or you can download the evaluation version from Microsoft, which I'll leave a link in the description below. So I'm just going to install it on a virtual machine. So as you see, I'm just creating a new virtual machine. I'm going to call it Server 2016. Click Next. I'm going to use Generation 2. I'm going to give it um, 4 gig of RAM. And I'll connect it into my network. I don't want to give it dynamic memory. I'm going to connect it into my test network, which I've used using RRAS, which I'll leave a link in the description. And I'll just mount this ISO to it to install. Hit Next. It'll give you the summary. You can read over that if you want. Hit next, and now you've got your virtual machine started. So I'm using Hyper-V as well. So let's start the virtual machine and click a key. So now as you see, it looks pretty familiar. It's the same as installing Server 2012. Just select your language, which I'm using English Australia, and hit install now. It will now load up the little setup screen. So now you want to pick your edition. So we've got the normal server evaluation and the desktop experience. So what was server core is now just the standard Windows server in server 2016 and the desktop experience is your regular GUI based deployment, which you get your start menu, you know, all of your windows and everything. If you install the normal version, it will only give you PowerShell basically. So pick the drive that you want to install it on and hit next. And now the installation starting. I'll skip over this bit because it takes a little while to get the files ready and everything. So now we're back, it's done its installation, it's restarted. And now it asks you for an administrator password. Just type in a password, which you'll remember. If you're not going to remember, make sure you're going to write it down. Hit next. And there we go. Windows Server 2016 is installed. Once we log in, so now it's logging in. And you'll see it looks exactly the same as Windows 10. Once it loads. So as you see, it looks like Windows 10, except it is actually Windows Server version. So I'm just going to say yes, I want to connect to my network. As you see, we've got Server Manager. So it obviously is a server. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm going to be sharing more Server 2016 videos. So I'll see you soon.